All right, so in this video, we are going to learn how to wire a four gang switch. A four gang switch is like this. Basically, a four gang switch is a switch assembly that contains four individual switches within a single unit. And these switches can be used to control multiple lights from just one location. And I said in a previous video that usually multi gang switches are two way switches. Okay. So just as it is shown in this video, this could be four different lamps in a particular area or in a particular place. It could be a hall or a sitting room. These lamps are different lamps. There's a spotlight. This is another lamp which is similar to this one, but this has a lower brightness than this one. There is a similar one, but this one is a colored one. So, you may want the place to be colorful. At that particular time, you may only need to turn on the colored lamp. So, these are four different lamps that may be used separately. And so, in that situation, if all these lamps are in the same area or in the same place, and you can conveniently control all of them from a single point, then in a situation like this, you will need a four gang switch. Basically, there are two ways that the multiple gang switch can be used. And one of the ways that it can be used is what I'm going to show in this video. In another video, I will show another way that the multiple gang switch can be used in a wiring. All right, so to start with, the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to link the neutral terminals of all these lamps. And then we come to look at how to wire the switch itself. So these are the wires I'm using for the connections. I'm using the blue wire for all the neutral connections. And then I'm using brown for all the live connections. That is the connections to and from the switch to the lamps. Okay, so before I do the connection, this is for earth or ground. But in this demonstration, I am using only these two terminals for live and neutral. So our first neutral loop comes to one of the two terminals that I'm using. So live will come to the other terminal. And then our next neutral loop goes to the next lamp holder. And then the final neutral connection goes to the last lamp holder. Okay, so now in connecting the four gang switch to these four lamps, we need a supply cable that is usually referred to as the feed wire, which is normally connected from a six amp breaker from the consumer unit. And that will come to the switch. And then we would need four different wires that we can refer to as the switch wires to the various lamps. So one of these will go to one lamp, the next one will go to the next lamp, the next one will go to the next lamp, and the fourth one will go to the fourth lamp. Okay, so now let's look at how the connections are done into the switch. Okay, so this is how the switch looks like. Now, normally, if you are fixing this switch, it will either fix on a box that is already inserted into the wall, or it can also be fixed on the surface of the wall on a patrick's box. Okay, so whichever way it is, whether you are fixing it on a box that is already put in the wall, or on a box that will be placed on the surface of the wall, there must be a way to secure this to that box. And so you can get access to that by first removing this cover, like this. If you get a flat screwdriver, you just insert it and then lift it gently. And you remove this cover. You still cannot get any access to fix it. And so you still have to remove the gang at the two ends. Still, you insert a flat screwdriver to the side like this. And then you shift it gently, lifting it as you are shifting it. And then you raise it. So we are going to pass a screw through this hole to fix the switch to the Patres box or to the conduit box. Okay, then there is another one here. And so we do the same thing. 
and then you remove this also. So you have this and this to fix it to the patrons box. If you look at the patrons box, there are these two screw holes for fixing the switch. And so it comes on top like this. And then you pass a screw through here and here, and then you screw it gently. Okay. But in this video, I'm not using the patrons box. And when putting it back, you just place it on it and then press it. All right, so now our main occupation is going to be around here. Where would our feet connect to? And where will the four cables that will switch on the different lamps connect to? So when you turn the switch this way, there are various terminals. But each of these terminals is labeled. OK, so just observe critically. Here, you can see common one. Then you come here, and then you see common two. And then you see here common three. And then when you come here, again, you see common four. All right. Now, I said in a previous video that multiple gang switches are usually two-way switches. So for every common you see here, there are two other ways that link to that very common. So normally, those two other ways are labeled one and two. But here, because this unit comprises four different switches that are put together, you cannot simply use L1 and L2 to name the other ways, because each two-way will have a corresponding common. And so there must be a way of identifying each of the ways to a particular common terminal. All right, so here, as you can see, you have LA1 and then LA2, okay? So LA1 and LA2 correspond to common one. And then next, we have LB1 and then LB2. Now, LB1, and LB2 also goes with common two, which is here. Then we have LC1 and then LC2, which also goes with common three. Then we have LD1 and then LD2, which also goes with common four. So in this wiring, we'll connect our supply from the six amp breaker to common one and then we'll take a loop of the same wire to common two. Then we'll take a loop from common two to common three. Then we'll take a loop from common three to common four. So what it simply means is that we need live at all the common points. Okay, so the first is common one. Then from there, we take a loop to common two. Then from common two, we take another loop to common three. And then from common three, we take the last loop to common four. Okay, so our main live wire from the consumer unit to common one, we looped to common two, we looped to common three, and then we looped to common four. Now, the next connection we are going to do are the connections that will be taken from the switch to the lamps. Okay, so here, when connecting, you have to decide. For instance, in my circuit, I have my spot lamp here. And so in connecting the switch, you can decide that the first switch on the left should control the spot lamp. The next switch should control the next lamp, and then so on. All right, so in connecting the switch, you can decide which particular gang among these gangs should control which lamp, okay? So in my case, I'm going to connect the switches in a way that the gang that is on the left should control the light that is on the left, and then so on, okay? So then, my first connection will be from LD1 to the first lamp on the left. And then my second lamp 
will connect from LC1 to the next lamp, then LB1, then LE1. Here, you can see that some of the terminals are added down. But for this wiring, we need only the L1s. In another video, I will show a situation where we would need to connect to the L2 terminals also. Now, you have to take note that the A, B, C, D that is used here is just for purposes of identifying the various ways that correspond to the common terminals. In another switch, you may not see A1. You may see L11. Then here would be L12. Then the next one would be L21. Then L22. L31. Then L32. Then the last one would be L41. And then L42. Just to take note. So here, first connection will go to LD1. And then from LD1, we go to the spot lamp. LD1 will connect to the spot lamp because of the sequence in which I want the various guns to control the various lights. Okay, so that is our first connection. Then the next connection will be from LC1. And then from that LC1, it goes to the corresponding lamp, which is second from left. Then our next connection will be from LB1 to the next corresponding lamp, which is last but one. Our last lamp will be taken from LE1. And LE1 goes to the last lamp when counting from left, but first when counting from right. Okay, so connection done. So now we have to reassemble the lamp holders. Okay, so that's it. Now we have to turn our switch. Okay. Here our spot lamp is already there. Then we have this dim light. Then we have this brighter light. And then we have this colored light. All right, so now we turn on the supply. And then we have this controlling our spot light. And then this could also be just a lamp or a number of certain lamps that we want this to control. And then the next one will control our brighter light. This. Then we also have a colored lamp that we may need for just decorative purposes. And so we may also want that alone to be switched on at a certain time. So here, we have the creative, we have brighter, we have dimmer, and then we have our spotlights. But all these lamps are controlled separately. 
And so we need separate switches to control them. And instead of bringing in four separate switches to do that, you can simply use a four gang switch, which is simply a four in one switch. I believe this video will be of much help to you. And if it really did, don't hesitate to hit on the like button. Share with your friends who can also learn something from it. And don't forget to subscribe in case you have not yet done that. See you in my next video.